Now we continue working the breaking news. We first brought you on Eyewitness News Live at 5. The Department of Health confirms foreign objects were left inside two surgical patients at Women and Infants Hospital. Now we're hearing from the hospital for the first time. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado is there now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Alex? Well, Karen, Gars was left in two women. Both of these incidents happened over the summer, but weren't discovered until late September when the women returned here to Women and Infants Hospital for treatment. The Department of Health conducted an investigation, and they say in both incidents, procedure was not followed. The first incident occurred at Women and Infants Hospital July 24th. A gauze roll was left inside a woman following childbirth. The Department of Health says the medical team didn't follow procedure and tell the next team the gauze roll was inside the woman. It was documented in the patient's chart, but it was not verbally communicated at change of shift. On August 25th, a piece of blue string from a piece of gauze was left inside a woman's abdomen during a gynecological procedure. Anne-Marie Beardsworth with the Department of Health describes what happened. What happened during the procedure is this particular piece of string separated from the gauze, and this string was what was left inside the patient. The blue string is x-ray sensitive, and the Department of Health found the hospital didn't take an x-ray after the procedure to make sure it wasn't left in the patient. Women and Infants Hospital says they no longer use that particular type of gauze, and policies have been changed. Before any gauze is used in surgery, the nurse carefully inspects it to make sure that it's intact and, in, and, and strong, that no string would fall off of it. And also we count the strings afterwards to make sure that everything's there. The hospital goes on to say it's apologized to both women. The Department of Health has referred seven physicians, one nurse and one nurse anesthesiologist to their respective boards after both of these incidents. We're live with breaking news tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.